What's up all my Ewoks, Tables, Droids, and Wikis? It's Anna, also as that Star Wars girl, and in today's video, I'm going to be transforming into Poison Ivy. Now, I've done quite a few transformation videos here on my channel. It all started off with my Rogue transformation video. I decided that for Halloween, I wanted to be Rogue, and you know, Halloween is my birthday, so I kind of go all out, and I decided, why be Rogue for just one day? Why don't I do it for the entire month of October? So I did a whole transformation video where I got the whole costume, the whole getup, I did the makeup, I got my hair professionally done for it, and then I went on a couple live streams and people were like, Anna, you should do a calendar on Indiegogo, and I was like, alright, I will! So the calendar is live now on Indiegogo, you guys can go check that out, the link is the very first one in the description of this video, and like it says on the Indiegogo, the way I'm going to announce characters for each month is in a featured video here on the channel, so this is another one of those featured videos of a cosplay announcement. So my whole transformation into Poison Ivy is going to be featured in an actual calendar. So let's talk about what is going to be, you know, what, what components are going to be in this cosplay. So as you guys can see behind me, I got some stuff hanging up, obviously. Poison Ivy has the iconic red hair with the green kind of bodysuit, and she's a little bit more seductive uh, than most. Uh, to, I guess it's, you know, that, that whole embodiment of the fan, femme fatale. I feel like DC really got it right, especially Batman uh, femme fatales. So I'm going to actually start from the bottom, and I am going to actually have to go in and make some shoes for Poison Ivy. Now, different renditions of her have her wearing different types of footwear. Boots are usually the most common. I wanted a little bit more versatility because I felt like so many of these cosplays that I'm doing all have boots. So originally, what I was going to do is I had these nice hills that I hadn't worn in forever, and I was like, oh, what if I spray it green and then put some, like, ivy leaves on it? And I was like, yes, totally, I haven't worn these heels in years, that's not going to bother me at all, let me do it. And then I started losing sleep over it, because even though I haven't worn these shoes in years, I was like, I can't do that, because what if, what if there's that one occasion where I need these and these are the perfect shoes? So I decided against it, because I was losing sleep over it, and so I ran to the store, uh, to go find some, and I actually found these. Now, I'm not, I, I, I thought that they were like an ugly green, and then I asked my boyfriend and he said that they were brown, so I'm not exactly sure what color they are, but I thought that they were perfect, and as you guys can see, they were on sale. So, what I'm going to do with these is I love the fact that they have this like little lip thing and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint them a green because I mean as much as this I might think it's green it's a very ugly green so I'm going to make it a little bit more vibrant to really bring out that poison ivy-ness and also because this is like a suede if I get any kind of water on it it's going to really mess it up so I'm just going to spray paint it and then I'm going to take my big bag of ivy and then I'm going to be ivy it instead of be dazzled be ivy it uh, so let's start with these because while they're drying I'll be able to work on more parts of the costume so Let's get started on customizing these boots.
waiting on the boots to dry, let's talk about the legs. Now, Poison Ivy, again, different renditions have her wearing different kind of like leg wear, like green tights or ivy tights. So I actually went on Amazon and I found these like really cool neonish green fishnets. And then I did find these Poison Ivy tights. I wasn't exactly sure if the skin color would be mine. So I decided that I was going to go back to the costume store and try to find uh, some tights and I actually did and after seeing them in person I decided just to use those so I will show you guys all of that in the final reveal and now that we are up uh, past the leg area let's talk about the bodysuit now Poison Ivy of course has an iconic bodysuit in every rendition of her uh, except for the more censored ones so I was looking for green bodysuits everywhere online and then I finally just decided why don't I just get a bathing suit or a bathing suit swimsuit yada 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 and they actually have really good one piece swimsuit so I came I got it down to these three so I actually liked this one the best because the straps were removable and uh, I just thought it looked nice and I could just put ID all the way around the top half and uh, it kind of got vetoed because it's a little too conservative uh, the boyfriend liked this one because it's like a v-neck. I think it's pretty sexy, uh, but this one tends to be everyone's favorite, so this is the one that I'm going to be customizing today, and as you guys can see, it has these like ruffles. It's kind of hard to like hold up because of the way that the straps are in the back. But uh, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to take these ruffles and I'm going to take my big bag of ivy and I'm going to be ivy this. So that way she's got like the nice collar of ivy and it'll have a really nice touch and it'll add to my rendition of ivy. So without further ado, let's get customizing. Now that we have that off to the side drying over on my work desk, let's talk about one of the last main accessories for this cosplay, which is her gloves. All femme fatales, I think, should be wearing gloves just because, you know, they, they're femme fatales. They need to hide their fingerprints, right? So I got these long velvet gloves that go like all the way up toward my sleeve ends here. And the reason why I get extra long gloves, because some people were like, Anna, those are basically sleeves, is because I have freakishly long arms. And so I kind of have to go for longer gloves or else they just miss the mark all the time. And then also I can just like bunch them up so that way it doesn't get like too weird around my elbow and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do with these is it's going to be pretty basic. All I'm going to do is glue the ivy around the rim of the glove so that way you know it just adds that poison ivy esque I'm not gonna put it all the way on it and if it ends up I want more I could always just do like a pattern all the way down I don't think I'm going to need to do that but that's just in case I think it's gonna look fine uh, with ivy just around the rim but we will see so without further ado let's go make these into poison ivy gloves <music>
waiting for all of that to dry before I put it on and do a final reveal. Let's talk about the makeup. So I want her to have kind of like a green eyeshadow and then a nice kind of a glitter mask that frames my eyes because I didn't really want to have, you know, an intense mask like Catwoman has, Poison Ivy. Some renditions she's kind of got those leave things, other ones she doesn't. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually used to face paint and so I have uh, a couple different types of glitter. This is a glitter powder and then this is a glitter gel and they're both hyperallergenic. Uh, not that that matters for me because I'm not really allergic to anything except for pita bread and latex. But one of the things that I love about this glitter is it's like you just take a little swipe of it on your hand and it's big chunks of glitter and then you can just swipe it across your face and it'll stay there like that. So it gives it this nice look. I did debate on possibly painting ivy on but I thought that that might be too much and so I think this is going to give it a nice effect just because there's so much ivy in the rest of the costume I'm going to just utilize different types of glitter and I think that'll look really nice when I do uh, go and do the photo shoot and this is really simple and it just dresses up like any costume so the links for these are in the description of this video you do have to get it from a very specific website where face painting artists go and you know buy their supplies it does get everywhere just a warning if you guys are interested and using this so my studio is going to be full of glitter when I'm done but I don't care I'm a girl I like glitter so uh, without further ado let's get in to the makeup and start really transforming into Ivy all right so I decided to just take everything off and start from scratch and then I decided to you know just reapply my face makeup just so it's easier because what we're really going to be focusing on today is the eyes and then of course adding that glitter on uh, at the end. Now I went through a bunch of different looks uh, and then I found this one right here that I liked. I think I'm going to try to emulate that and I was really up in the air on if I want to have her lips bright red or like a subtle pink. and. I think I'm leaning more towards the pink, but we'll see how this looks once the eyeshadow is done and then decide from there. So we're going to do the lips very, very last. Now, to go over what we're going to be doing, I did put some concealer on my eyebrows because I am actually, you know, I have very dark hair naturally when I'm not all done up like Rogue. And so I needed to lighten my eyebrows and because Poison Ivy has red hair. So I need to make the eyebrows a little bit more red. I couldn't find something that wasn't lip liner uh, that could do that. So I found this Auburn uh, eyebrow pin. I hope it doesn't make my eyebrows go back to that dark brown. So hopefully this has a little bit more red in it. So we're going to try that. And then for the eyeshadow palette, I got this uh, from Morphe. And so this was, I believe it was only available online on Ulta, but it has some really nice uh, green colors in it with some pinks. And I thought that would be nice, so I actually got it and I'm opening up for the first time uh, now. So we can take a look at all of this together. It uh, is very red, the packaging at least, with a little bit of green. So as you guys can see there, there's this nice like shiny metallic looking greens on here with some pinks that I think will look very nice together and since I am trying to emulate uh, that look that I showed you guys before where it has you know the light green and the dark green on top of it I think that this is going to work really nicely for it so I'm going to time lapse this and uh yeah so sit back and enjoy my makeup transformation <laughs> All right, 
now that my makeup look is complete, I have the glitter, I have the eyeshadow, I have the eyebrows, which actually was the most difficult thing because I did end up having to mix uh, that au auburn uh, brow pencil with my lip liner. And I'm actually glad at how it looks. I'm more worried to so what's going to happen when I try to take it off. Uh, but I have pretty thick eyebrows, so I'm not too worried about it. And then, of course, I got the pretty pink lips, which I think work very well together. Now that this is all done, let's actually, before we, you know, put on the wig and the costume, let's go check on the booties because they have actually uh, been taking a very long time to dry. I think that they should be done by now. I would have preferred to be Ivy them before I did the makeup, but it is what it is. It took a very long time to dry, so you know what, we're just gonna go with it and go be Ivy them and by the time that the glue is all done on that, I'll be, you know, I'll put on my wig, I'll put on my little outfit and then uh, the boots should be done and we can do a final reveal. So, without further ado, let's get to the boots! Well, now my booties are done, and before uh, you have a freak out in the comment section, don't worry, the leaves that I glued on over the zipper, that was not a real zipper, that was just like a show zipper. The real zipper is on the other side, so when I'm wearing these, it's on the inside. Uh, so this one is uh, kind of like very much on display, and so I didn't like that, so I decided, I was like, all right, well, since I'm already putting, you know, the leaves around on, you know, the, the lip of the shoe, let me just cover up that fake zipper anyway because it's not like it's doing anything and I'm very very happy with how this turned out I think that these are going to make great little you know poison ivy booties and they actually came out better than I thought they were going to so I'm very very happy about that and the spray paint it worked perfectly uh, so yeah the only thing I think I'm gonna need to add which doesn't really matter right now is I think I am gonna put a little bit of a cushion in these boots because they they are a little bit big which you're supposed to do when you have heels but I do want to get a little cushion right here because I know after a while that is going to hurt so now that the boots are done, the costume is done, you know, the bodysuit, it's been be ivied the gloves are done, I have the tights, I have everything. All I need to do now is put on the wig and then put on the full suit. Unfortunately, right now, it is freezing cold. <laughs> Uh, for whatever reason, we had like a heat wave when I started filming this video, and it has been a few days since, and now it's freezing. So uh, if I start shivering, that is why. But without further ado, let's do a final reveal. What's up, everyone? It's Poison Ivy. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks kind of crazy. This, uh, this red is really uh, throwing me off. I'm not used to it, I can admit. But uh, what do you guys think? Like, here's the, the suit since this hair is, you know, kind of crazy and covering everything up. But what do you guys think? I think that this turned out great personally. The gloves I did have to make a little bit of an adjustment to just because I 
didn't anticipate the fact that when I was gluing it, it wasn't stretched and to be able to get it up my arm, it obviously has to be stretched. So I kind of had to go doo -doo 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 -doo, and re-glue on some, like add on some leaves, stretch it out a little bit. But uh, I'm glad with the way that everything turned out. Now, even though you guys can't see it up here on my thighs, there is actually ivy on these tights that go up my leg. So as you guys can see, it looks like it's coming up my boots. Uh, my leg, which I love. At first, I was kind of worried that the tights weren't like too green, green, even though I have like these fishnets over it. So I had another pair of like just solid green tights, but I kind of felt more like Peter Pan than Poison Ivy. So I was like, you know what? Better just to go with my initial decision. So I did. And uh, this wig is a lace front wig. So as you guys can see, it does have these like little ripples on them. That's from the lace. And usually when you get a lace front wig is you leave a little bit around the, the edges of where the hairline starts. That way you can glue that lace to your face. So if you're going to a convention or like me, you're going to go get, you know, professional photos taken, you can glue it to your head and that way it doesn't move and you can brush it or you can style it from there. Now, I didn't want to glue it before I got uh, the before I went to go get my photos taken. So I just kind of left it. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what it is. Now, you would think that I'm done because I, you know, have done the final reveal. But I'm not. <laughs> so this look is obviously for my calendar that's live now on Indiegogo. The link is in the very first description of this video so go check it out if you haven't already and if you guys you know like poison ivy and now you know what that i'm cosplaying as her go over there to indiegogo and get it but obviously there's 12 months and so on the indiegogo it says that i'll be announcing what characters and what months they're going to be but my wonderful dear friend drunk 3 bo the most handsome man on the internet uh was like anna you should leave it a surprise for what characters you're going to do for which months. And I was like, okay, drunk 3PO. And he's just like, yeah, that way we don't know which one we're going to get. And I was like, okay. But this one, I won't tell you what month she's going to be, but you guys are going to be able to guess because I have a couple more things that I need to make for this cosplay to make it complete. Now, I have a little friend off to the side, which is not my dog that's crying on the floor because she wants a... Uh, she's demanding attention right now. I actually have this little guy. So this is a blood succubus. Now obviously you can see there's a bow. I do need to add on this red bow to it as well. And then for myself, because you know I got I got my little friend here with me. But at the same time, I also have to look the part for this occasion. And so I ended up uh, getting this bow for myself and I need to glue it to these clips so that way I could have it uh, you know in my hair or maybe like somewhere on here so let's go over to my desk put this all together and then let's do a final not month reveal but another final reveal So it's all done. Now I did have to take the shoes off so you guys could actually see uh, the shot of the bow in the camera. But uh, I got my little friend here that's all ready to go get photographed. And uh, I did originally have the large green bow on my head but I think that one I would need to take off the clip and glue onto uh, a headband because it was like just sticking out all crazy. So I was like I got 
a few different color bows just in case. So I was like, I might just go and get a another green one that's this size. But I kind of like the gold. Let's see how it looks. And uh, I just stuck the, the green one on my butt. Kind of like, you know, a Playboy bunny kind of thing, like with a little tail. I thought it was cute. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but uh, just for right now, I think it looks good. But so everyone now, uh, I'm just missing the earrings, which would probably be a little annoying to wear because they kind of have bells on them. So uh, you guys will just have to wait until the calendar to see that one. But uh, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this reveal. Again, I'm not saying what month this is, but if you can't guess by uh, this little addition, then I don't know what to tell you. But uh, I guess you'll have to wait until the calendar comes out. But I'm going to put my little friend down and just say, everyone, once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching my channel and my content. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, make sure that that bell is set to all. That way you don't miss when I put out other videos and live streams. And uh, I will be doing more of these cosplay reveals because I do have a few more left. So once again, make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that the bell is set to all. So that way you actually get notifications when I put out more of these transformation videos. I might have uh, another few femme fatales on the way, so stay tuned for that. And everyone, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye everyone. Once again, thank you so much everyone for supporting my channel and my content. And I have a really exciting project that's live right now on Indiegogo. Due to requests from those of you in the chat that have been watching for a long time, I did a whole transformation video on going rogue for Halloween this year and some people suggested, hey Anna, you should do a calendar. So I did. It's live now on Indiegogo. The link is in the description of this video. G click it, go check it out, see the tiers that I have available and thank you very much everyone. I also have an Etsy where I sell prints of my original artwork like oil paintings and drawings of various characters. So go check it out. Link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great rest of your day.